Okay, I've done this video a couple of times before, but it seems super popular. I'm gonna play some holes, I'm mic'd up, I'm gonna tell you all of the shots I'm about to hit, what I'm thinking, what I'm going through, what happens when I hit a good shot, what happens when I hit a bad shot, so you guys can learn and hopefully take it into your own game to potentially get better at golf. I'm down here at the Marriott Worsley Park. I've walked out to the eighth hole, which is actually one of the hardest holes on this golf course. It's a par four. It swings around to the right. It's quite a tunneled tee shot. Uh, it's 400 yards. There's a guy down there in the fairway at the moment that if I put a ball in that position would be prime location. It requires a 220 yard tee shot. So drivers out the equation, three would have probably been going too long because you can run out of fairway. So I'm gonna hit a two iron off this tee. I feel, oops, I feel fairly confident with this iron as a whole. You might have seen recently, I did a video being honest about my golf game. And I mentioned how two iron, I'm probably, it's probably one of my strongest clubs. And I'm saying all that now, <laughs> before I've hit the shot, that might be a bit of a mistake. So I'm gonna play, probably about three or four holes we'll see how we get on as i mentioned i'm going to talking through the shots i'm about to hit so uh so you can kind of get an insight to what's going through my brain when i'm playing golf i'm a professional golfer and you know if i shoot somewhere kind of mid to low 70s i'm typically quite happy right no wind around today it's a beautiful day actually we're just about to get into october and it's a gorgeous sunny day the temperature's really picked up so nice two iron i'm gonna not put a lot of shape on this hopefully just down the fairway in position. I said the hole swings slightly to the right, but going too far right blocks you out. So middle of the fairway to slightly left hand side of the fairway would be perfect. I've absolutely ripped that. I'm gonna be super honest. If, if, if I wasn't telling you all the things that I said before I hit the shot, I would say that was absolutely perfect. But as you heard me say, I wanted to go middle of the fairway to left-hand side. I struck it unbelievable. I've slightly pushed it. I think it's still safe. It's, it's the tiger line. It's the tight line. But if it's come off, it should be in a safe spot because the second shot into this green is a proper test. Let's go and find it and see what we've got next. So, as I mentioned off the tee, this area here was my desired shot. From the tee, I could see where I was landing it to, to here. As you heard me say, I pushed it. <laughs> and I've pushed it into literally a one position. I could not be any better going into this green now. And it's such a gorgeous hole. This is what I've got left in. So, as you can see, big expanse of water to get over. Pins in the middle, it's playing about 144 yards. There's no slope really, a tiny, tiny bit uphill. No real wind. The pin is just slightly on that right edge of the green. So for me, on a shot like this, I want to be edging towards the left-hand side of the flag, just because I don't massively want to miss right because it's going to short side myself. There's actually a, a magpie in the middle of the green now. I don't know if you can just pick that up. Somewhere around about a minute there, and hopefully just letting it drift back in. 140 odd yards, it's, in, it's just a nice nine iron for me. I don't have to do a lot with it, just, just not try and change the flight too much. My natural shot is a draw, so I could possibly even go a little bit more at the flag and let it draw back. I just don't want to miss right. Line it up. Yeah, this is just a nice nine iron. Let's set myself up with a nice opportunity on this first hole. Oh, Rick. <laughs> oh, Rick. You know what? Things don't always go to plan, everybody. <laughs> I've hit a push. I did. I pushed the tee shot, I've pushed the second shot. That's not great. I've missed right. I've done everything that I didn't want to do. I've short-sided myself. It's going to make this next shot very hard, but that's what happens in golf. I'm going to repair the divot and then get up to the green and see if we can now still make par. Not the greatest shot after that fortunate tee shot okay walking up to the green 
And there's a good saying, after every bad shot, there's an opportunity to show off. And hopefully that's this shot here. I did everything I didn't want to do on that shot. I've left myself in a horrible situation. I was perfect on distance, exactly right for my nine iron. I had the world to miss left. Anyway, let's forget that. Right, the shot I'm going to play, I've got a little, just in the rough, it's not sat great, but I've got a little hill to get up here. And it kind of starts to fall down towards the left once it gets up on the green. Got a couple of options. I can fly it up there, try and land it on the green and get it to stop. Quite a high risk shot. So probably the more sensible choice is try and bump it into this bank, let it hop onto the green and fall back towards the flag. For that, I'm going to use my 52 degree wedge, my gap wedge. I'm looking to land it around about here. It's quite a nice area. I feel like I can predict how it's going to bounce from there. Yeah, just chip it into that bank and let it run out after that. Oh, oh, two things. I wasn't quite as confident of hitting through the shot. I should have gone a bit more and it just popped up once it hit the ground rather than kind of skip forward. Um, I'm on the green, but way too far away for par here now. Now, walking up to the green, one of the things that I'll do and I recommend a lot of people do is just eye up the contours a little bit, work out the way the green's gonna slope. This is a right to left put, it's sloping from the back of the green down to the front. So I know it's gonna be right to left, it's just about how much. Take a little bit of a, a guidance from my feet. My, le my left foot is considerably lower than my left here, so it's going to swing quite a bit. Line the line of the golf ball up. Probably about two cups outside the right edge and let it just fall in. I'm just trying a new little putting... Uh, Oh, almost like a training aid at the moment. I found that my, my putting stroke has become too straight effectively. And it sounds daft, but I'm kind of taking the putter back too straight. So I've just been working on at the moment, just tucking my right elbow into my side a little bit more and producing slightly more of an arced putting stroke. From everything I've tested so far, I do, I do like the feel of that. So you might see me just tucking up, tucking my uh, clothes underneath my right elbow, my right armpit, right? For par, on this first hole that I'm playing. <laughs> Slightly low on, on speed. I think a tiny bit faster that would have dropped. Um, everyone watching, you're not the only ones that's disappointed with that bogey. After a fortunate miss direction off the tee. I was in prime position. I messed up the iron shot. That's what put me in a terrible situation and just didn't quite play the chip that I wanted to. Either way, we bogey the first, we move on. It's about how I bounce back now that hopefully again, you can learn a little bit from. I need to uh, not think about any of those bad shots that I've just played. Let's get, let's get on to the next, a little par three. Okay, next hole, ninth hole, par three. Pretty, um, Self-explanatory, there's not a lot going on with this hole. Bunker left, bunker right, but they should be way out of the way to not really worry about. The green's back to front sloping again. It's 167 yards to the flag. So that for me is just a very nice, probably slightly easy hitting seven iron. I probably hit my eight iron, well I do hit my eight iron, 163 yards. So this is just out of range for that. I could jump on an eight iron, but I don't think it's worth it. I think I'm just gonna hit a little soft seven iron, take a fraction off it, try and land in my head around the kind of 170 yard mark. And just take a little bit of swing off it. Pins right in the middle of the green. Flags fluttering a little bit, but again, not a lot. Let's just hit one close. Visualizing a good shot, asking myself, what does a good shot look like? So that I'm getting that real positive reinforcement. Just aim straight at this and try and stick it close. Oh, it's a nice strike. Is it the distance? Go in, go in. 
<laughs> wow. That's how you recover everybody. That's how you get back in the game. That was beautiful. Did everything I wanted to there, bar it being, I mean, it looks about a yard short of the hole, which would frustrate me a tiny bit because I did take a little bit of swing power off that. But nice shot, played it lovely, struck it pure. Let's get down there, see how close it is and hopefully make birdie and get back to level par. So as we walk up to the green, it's starting to show it's possibly not as close as I thought it was, to be honest. I mean, it's not a bad shot though. That's where it's landed. I'll repair that pitch mark in a minute. That probably landed about 164 yards and it's finished here about 166 or so and flag was 167, I think I said. Not far away. <laughs> Let's try and knock this in for birdie. Don't think there's a lot in this. It's gonna be slight, oh, it's obviously slightly up the hill. Pretty flat, it's pretty straight. Yeah, I'm just gonna go straight at it, up the hill. For birdie. So I'm just gonna tuck my clothes under my armpit, get that nice arced stroke. Very nice. Birdie on the second hole, we're playing back to level par. That's how you do it, everybody. <laughs> right, let's go on to the next. Okay, next hole we're gonna play is this, the 10th hole. It's a beautiful looking hole. It's this very subtle dog leg to the right. There's a bunker right, bunker left that you've got to try and feed your tee shot through. And then once you get over the hill, it's just a flick into the green. Um, I think it's just driver, if I'm honest. I can clear those bunkers. Those bunkers are around 240. So if I, anything I played less than that would possibly put, be putting those bunkers in play. So this just requires to step up and, and hit a driver. Just in the distance, it's like a silver birch type tree. That's exactly where you want to finish the ball. Probably requires a little fade, but it's not my favorite shot in the world. So I'm just going to go straight over the edge of the court, over the edge of the bunker on the right hand side. Nice confident shot. Oh, and that's absolutely down the middle. It's going to come right down, middle of the fairway. Yeah, over the moon with that. That will come in very, very nicely. And from there, I'll probably be less than 100 yards left into the green. Hopefully set myself with a, another good, a good birdie opportunity. That was a very, very nice tee shot. So just walking down to the ball here, the silver tree in the background there was my line off the tee. And I'm just left of that. That wasn't bad at all. It's just by a, by a whisker stayed on the side of the fairway. And I mean by a whisker. <laughs> um, right, what have we got in from here? Pins back right. It's on a little kind of top plateau. I am 105 yards from the flag. Uh, 105. Now, what I sometimes get guilty of playing a shot from here is like my 56 degree, my sand wedge, hitting it as hard as I can. But the problem with that shot, if it lands on that slight slope, it's going to spin like crazy. So I'm going to play a shot, which I'll be honest, isn't normally my chosen shot, but I think it's the right shot to go for. I'm going to go on my 52 degree, my gap wedge, and play like a three quarter swing, through to three quarter swing, so just trying to control the flight a little bit more. No, again, wind, there's no wind at all, so I don't have anything to contend with. It's pretty flat, so it's not uphill or downhill. Lie is okay, it's a tiny bit uphill, but that's, that's probably gonna help me if anything. Oh, be good. Sit a little bit, sit. That wasn't far off. <laughs> That was not far off. That's, it's just on the back fringe, granted. It probably pitched maybe two yards long and it took quite a big first hop 
like it didn't grab and stop it kind of hopped and it's just sat on the back edge of the green there I wasn't far off that that was that was nicely played normally i'll be honest if i'm using my 56 from there as i mentioned i'd normally be further away because I'd, I'd end up spinning it too far i'm okay with that it's not bad i can still put right repair the divot and then go and knock this one in hopefully so as we go up to the green you might not be able to pick it up from camera but where the flag is at the moment it's, it's sat on that top plateau and it's actually quite a small landing area you really i really did have to get that perfect in hindsight i probably could have done with landing my shot here on this uphill slope taking that big hop which i was unexpectedly unexpectedly got with that shot and then it would have kind of landed in this section here but it's not far away it's actually looking at the pitch mark it actually did land just off the green yeah so in fairness um one two three four i landed it probably five yards minimum too long probably again a part of my game that i'm just not the sharpest that i could be a lot better at that part of the game and again if anyone's looking to get better which hopefully a lot of people are watching that is where you could see massive gains in your golf game if you can get really good at your distance control you just got so much more well control over your golf shot so birdie putt just off the green but at least i can still put it i've been i'd have been really annoyed myself if i'd have gone in that slightly fluffier grass over the back because i've had to chip it downhill probably just going to swing just from this side a little bit not a lot but just going to come in from that left edge it's going to be fairly fast so i just need to get the ball started because i can't line the golf ball up i've just picked a point in front of me where i want the ball to start over come on just down the hill let it drop in Oh, <laughs> speedy! <laughs> um, didn't didn't break as much as I expected it to, and it was a lot faster than I expected it to be. As soon as that came on the green, that 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 shot off pretty fast. Right, left myself longer for par than I wanted to. Uphill, right edge need to it's firm and just inside the right edge, edge of the hole and golf brilliant everyone <laughs> oh that is such a terrible bogey I didn't, I'll be honest with you, like, unlike the first hole, I felt like the first hole I made some very fundamental errors and made bogey. On this hole, I didn't make that many errors, yet I've somehow walked off with bogey still. The only one shot, if I could replay them all again, would be from the putt from the top of the hill, just anticipate for it to be a little bit faster. I just, I just maybe the weather's throwing me out because it's so much warmer than what we expect it to be for this time of year. Greens are faster than I expect them to be. Anyway come up with a million excuses before let's <laughs> before i continue let's go on to the next hole really lovely par three up the hill and i'm going to finish on a short par four as well let's play two more holes see if we can get back to level par next hole we're going to play is this the 11th hole par three as you can see by the marker it's not a short hole by any stretch of the imagination what's mad about this hole i've actually been part of a group for three different people who've had holding ones on this hole and for two of them you didn't know it was in because where the flag is on top of the green you can't see the bottom of the hole <laughs> either way it's a little fun fact for you um it's gonna play about 195 yards pin looks like it's kind of middle to back again it's pretty much in the middle of the green which is good nothing changed not much wind around 195 yards it's uh in between four and five my four 
lands around 100 and, uh, my four iron lands around about 200 yards my five irons about 190. with it being slightly up the hill i'm going to try and learn from a mistake i make probably too often i would say too often i'd choose a club that's not not enough and try and hit it there so let's try and learn from my mistakes today let's try and hit a four iron and hit it a bit softer probably going to be a 90% power on a shot like this, my four iron. Oh, that's a nice little flight. That looks nice. <laughs> I hit a slightly different flight than I was pitching in my head. Because I took a bit more speed off it, it came out a fraction lower, almost like I was hitting it through the wind. It, it landed very good distance, but I think just because it came in a bit lower, it might have just skipped more towards the back of the green. We're putting, I'm on the green, and I think from 200 yards away, can't get that tee peg out, from 200 yards away, I am delighted we are putting for birdie. Next hole, I don't want to think too far ahead, but just to keep you going, the next hole is an unbelievably Unbelievable chance of me making bird it, if not eagle. Stay tuned for that. We've still got chances to go under par, everybody. But first, let's go and knock this one in. So as we walk up to the green on, this is such a beautiful corner of the golf course. There was actually, I think start this year, there was a massive big tree here on the left. But fortunately, uh, it became ill, diseased, so they had to chop it down. And I thought, I thought it was going to really affect the look of this hole, but once I chopped it down, you can actually see the church spire in the background, which makes it look really nice. As we get up to the green, what also looks pretty nice is the shot. So just as we're walking up here, you can just about, if you look down this line, you can just about see my pitch mark. It's where the ball landed. It's ran, it must have ran fairly close to the hole and then just ran past to leave myself probably about a 15 footer down the hill. So my only thing there, just because I hit it a fraction softer, the golf shot, because I hit four instead of five, it definitely came out just a little bit lower in flight. Therefore, it didn't, didn't kind of grab onto the green like it maybe would have done if I hit it fully. But I can't complain with that, it's a lovely golf shot. An opportunity for birdie on this hole is always welcomed. Just because it's a long par three, you know, there's no guarantees you're going to be able to put it close. Now, I'm not going to make the mistake I made in the last hole because this is downhill again, quite substantially. And the greens are definitely faster than I'm giving them credit for. It's ever going to slightly slope to the right. Or is it? No, it's going to slope slightly left, sorry. Down the hill, slightly left sloping. Probably just need to show this put a little bit more respect. I think the one thing I don't want to be doing here is smashing it too far past. I'm going to try and drop it in at absolute dead weight for birdie. And once again, to get back to level par. Break now, break. Ah, look how fast it is. <laughs> Wow! Wow! I tickled that. I absolutely tickled it. I didn't hit that with any speed whatsoever. And it's gone uncomfortable distance past. I'm not going to lie to you. Right, to make par now, very similar story to the last hole, which would somewhat hurt me if I made the same mistake again. I think coming back up the hill, it's going to be fairly flat, fairly straight, shall I say, but just slightly up the hill. Come on. Visualise it going in. Thankfully. <laughs> I thought that was going to be four holes then and not a single par on the scorecard. Either way, I managed to get par. That, that is, the, the putts 
The greens at the moment, certainly down here at Marriott Worsley Park, have surprised me with the speed. I didn't think they were going to be as fast as they are today. And I play here most of the time as well. Right, next holes, I promised, a very gettable par four. With a good drive, I could knock it on. So by the way, guys, if you like this video, let me know in the comments below. And by liking the video, for me, it, I love it because I like talking and I like playing golf. This is perfect to make a video about. Guys, if this video gets to 30,000 likes, I'll make more like this. Last hole that we're going to play today, par four. From this tee, it's 320 yards to the green. You can already see what I'm going to hit. I'm going to hit my driver. I don't see many other ways of playing this hole, if I'm dead honest, because all the trouble is pre 200 yards. So there's water down the left, which to carry it, you've got to hit it over 200 yards. There's a bunker left, the bunker right, which again, around about 200 yard mark. So if you don't hit driver, if anything, you're making this hole somewhat harder because you could find the trouble. So for me, it's driver. I am going to go for the green. I can get on normally. This does weirdly look a long way back today. It's going to require one hell of a tee shot. Pins in the middle. I'm just going to go straight at it. Let's see if we can get close. Let's see if we can make a birdie on this last hole. Get back to uh, level par. Oh, it's a bit of a power draw. Get lucky. I have got very lucky. It's ran up. It might have even taken a little bounce off the path. We are pin high with the flag slightly left. Just a little bit too much draw on that. Again, that's something I get a bit guilty of when I try and absolutely smash it. And I'll be honest, this shot required every single bit of swing speed on this hole. Right, let's get down there. We're a chip and a putt away from making a decent birdie on this last hole. So as I've hit the tee shot from back up there on the hill, I got a very lucky little kick off this uh, path and it's managed to get the ball right up to pin high. Green's only there. Like I say, it requires a really, really good driver shot, but normally I can get pretty close on this hole. Right, I'd have preferred to have been closer, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> I'd have preferred to have been uh, putting. There's just a bit of an awkward slope here. Like at the back edge of this green, it kind of kicks everything more to the right. So I've got to use this slope to gather the ball in and around towards the flag. Kind of want to play it quite low flighted, but I don't think the bumper, I'm not quite close enough to the green to play the kind of little A time bump and run. I'm going to go with my 52 degree wedge because really I need to land it on the green on this kind of slope up here at the top. It's not sat brilliantly again. You know, I just need to land it up on that hill and let it swing around towards the flag. Simmer down, simmer down, simmer down. Ay, 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 ay. I've got a touch like a baby elephant sometimes. Like, I honestly felt like when I hit that shot, I thought I'd played that. Okay, I thought I struck it well. I didn't, I wasn't far off my landing spot where I wanted the ball to land. Possibly just didn't play enough elevation potentially. Oh, Shieldsy, what have you done? What have you done here? I thought this was a guaranteed birdie and now I've got a long range birdie opportunity. Right, let's see if we can finish this video in style. Like I say, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you smash like. As I mentioned, I love talking and I love playing golf. I like making videos, so I'll happily do more of these. Hopefully it helps you learn a little bit, teach you how not to make bogeys. <laughs> to finish off with a birdie, uphill, right to left, Probably going to have to aim this around about here and let it swing back in. Come on, Rick. Let's finish off with birdie. Oh, 
That looks good, nice line. Swing. <laughs> I don't know about you, but there's nobody else here. I'm giving myself up for birdie. I don't care what anybody says, that went in the hole. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, lots more to come. And that's how I play golf. All bells and whistles. One way or another, I managed to get it in the hole. We'll see you next time.